Over now to sports. The Lindy De La Pena Golf Classic, one of the most popular events on Jamaica's golfing calendar, resumed on the weekend. The annual golf classic named in honor of Lloyd Lindbergh Lindy De La Pena was put on hold for a year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Marlon Samuels has more in this report. The fourth staging of the Lindy De La Pena Golf Classic took place over the weekend after a year-long absence due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Golf Classic is put on by the Monroe Old Boys Association to celebrate the life and works of Mr. De La Pena. Lloyd Lindbergh Linde De La Pena started playing competitive football while attending Woolmans Boys School. Before heading to Monroe College, at Monroe he excelled at a number of sporting activities. In his heyday, and come to think of it, all his days were heydays. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in his heyday, not only football but cricket, hockey and athletics were areas of excellence and school colors which he also achieved in tennis, boxing and gymnastics. School colors is when you have performed in the other sports, so he, all the other sports plus um, cricket, boxing, gymnastics. If Lindy De La Pena alone had represented Monroe College at Boys Champs in 1945, the time Monroe won, he would have accumulated enough points to place the school third at chance. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. um, it is said it was from then J3 started considering limiting the number of yeah. events at least. Enter. His exploits while a schoolboy on the football field are legendary. In football against Calabar at Monroe, Calabar was leading football, leading 4-1 with 10 minutes to go. Calabar, the Calabar headmaster in those days went down to Santa Cruz to send a congratulatory telegram to the Calabar family in Kingston. <laughs> Legendary sportsmaster Ken Dunleavy inspired Lindy. Lindy energized his team and Monroe won 5-4. <laughs> is that untruthful, the question is asked, is that the untruthful telegram that is framed and displayed at Calabar? <laughs> I suspect that. Linda de la Pena reportedly turned down the opportunity to run for Britain in the 1948 Olympics and instead focused on football. He became the first Jamaican to play professional football in England. He began his football career at Portsmouth and became a legend while playing for Middlesbrough. On his return to Jamaica, he worked for 30 years at the now defunct Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, JBC. There he wore several hats including sports anchor, director of sports and host of a morning talk show. Lindy contributed so much to Jamaica's development by his participation and his activity in sports. But not only that, he was one of the best sports broadcasters. Yes. And he contributed to the landscape of broadcasting in Jamaica. He had the right voice, he had the right deportment, he did it just right. On leaving JBC, Mr. Delapena spent many hours playing rounds of golf. He died in 2017 at the age of 89. The ashes of Mr. De La Pena were sprinkled on the Camerons golf course. Daddy's wish was that his ashes would be sprinkled on the 18th hole. And so we got permission from Camerons to have that done. And his ashes were sprinkled and a royal palm was planted. And I, I certainly can't believe how much it's grown. It looks so healthy and beautiful and all I can say is that that was his wish and we were so glad that we were able to grant that wish to him. A plaque to commemorate his life and work was recently unveiled at the Camerons Golf and Country Club. We are just so honored that we are able to celebrate his life this way 
and we'd like to thank Minister Grange for taking time out of her busy schedule to be here. It's very special to Linda and myself and my children and her children because he was not only the greatest sportsman, but he was the greatest father and grandfather. And he's now a great grandfather. So thank you, Monroe College. You will always have a special place in our hearts. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.